Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about my thoughts on the new Pat McGrath Eye Ecstasy Little Mini Eyeshadow Palettes. You definitely want to stick around for this if you are a Pat McGrath fan. And if you're curious about these, definitely stick around. You won't regret it. So let's just get into it. I know I look crazy. I was playing with the new Norvina collection palette So how could you not create a look like this if you're playing with this palette? You know what I mean? <laughs> Alrighty, so a couple days ago Pat McGrath released two little mini eye ecstasy palettes I was so excited for them. They looked super cute I did purchase one of her little mini eyeshadow palettes in the past I basically purchased everything that Pat McGrath comes out with so I had to purchase these so basically online what they're describing these guys as is a curated collection of five luxe shades to unlock the secrets of Pamagrass backstage kit in a sleep compact on the go palette. So they're taking five of her existing shades and putting them in a little palette. They are in a super cute plastic casing which is pretty cheap but I actually think it's super duper cute. It has the Pat McGrath logo on it and I really really like the packaging. I like that it's almost like a lab sample. Really cute and they're only $28 which is an amazing price. I purchased these right away not realizing that they all had existing shades. I was hoping that she could have surprised us with some new shades to the line. Unfortunately, she did not. These are existing shades. I will go over the shades in a moment, but let's talk about it. So there are two different palettes. The first one is the Subversive palette, which is the more colorful palette. You have some blues, some purples, reds, golds, all of that in this one. And then the other one that we have here is the Sublime palette, which is the more neutral, bronzy, brown one, which I think most of you guys are going to like. The majority of these colors are all shimmer or they have some sort of glitter form to them. The Sublime palette does have one shade that can pass as matte. There's just little glitter particles in it, but that's going to be the one with the matte finish. The formula is supposed to be kind of like a cream powder hybrid, which I completely agree with. You know, Pat McGrath definitely has the most gorgeous shade selections. So now that I have the major details of these palettes out of the way, let's talk about the colors a little bit more in depth. Like I said, all of these are previous colors. So the first one, the Subversive palette, is going to contain colors mostly from the Decade palette. Now this palette is no longer available so you cannot purchase this palette anymore. Three of the five colors in the Subversive palette are from here so if you did not get a chance to pick up the Decadence palette this might be of interest to you. And then the other two are from the individual line. The next one is the Sublime palette. Now I like this one because there's one shade from five different palettes. So for example because I already own the Decadence palette I had like most of that other palette. So this one contains one from a big one and then the other four are from the little mini ones. So these were limited edition. I'm not sure if you can still pick these up, but I know for a fact those were intended to be limited edition. So I'm going to fast forward you to the swatches right now. So this right here is the mini subversive palette. So the first color that we have right here is Lapis Luxury. This can be found in the Decadence palette. Then we have Blue Blood, which is also from the Decadence palette. And then we have Gold Standard, which is also from the Decadence palette. So these three all come in the Decadence palette. The next shade that we have right here is Synthetica. This one is one of the individual eye dolls. Really stunning. This is one of my favorite eye dolls color that you can get. And then the last one that we have is Crimson Fire, another one from the single collection, the eye dolls collection. And so this is what the mini subversive is going to look like. So this one is the IXC Sublime one. I imagine this one is going to be the more popular one. It just has more wearable friendly colors. So the first color feature in here is Sinful. This is also from the Mothership Decadence palette. The next shade is Illicit. This one is from the Mothership Sublime Bronze Ambition palette. Then we have Gold Nectar, which is from the Mothership Subversive La Vie in Rose palette. This is one of the best golds in the world. If the quality translates over to that little palette, this is like the best color. The next shade that we have is Corruption. Corruption is from the Mothership Sublime Bronze Temptation palette. Now when I first used this color, I did not like it. I still don't like it. I just think it pulls very weird on the skin because it has such a strange duochrome that's not showing up on camera, but I really don't like this shade. And then the last shade that we have is Sextrovert. This is from the Subliminal Platinum Bronze bronze palette. And yeah, so if you like more neutrals, this is a really gorgeous palette to go for. Every single shade from this little palette is from a different palette from her line, which is awesome. So hopefully because of that, you did get a better feel of 
the palettes themselves but one thing I did want to cover that's very important to me as a consumer and I know to you guys as well is the value of these products I normally don't like to go into numbers too much but trust me this one is worth your while these little guys are $28 each looking at the details each pan there are five pans is one gram of product and with that $28 price that makes each pan five point six dollars the eye dolls that she has are $25 each for one color and there's only 1.1 grams in these individual eyeshadows. So immediately for somebody like me who took the time to invest in everything Pat McGrath owns, including the eye dolls, I spent $50 for these two shades that are in this palette. And this whole thing's only $28 with the addition of three other colors. I'm not gonna lie, that definitely does upset me. That value is terrible. $25 for basically the same amount of product for five different shades for $28. That's ridiculous. There's no consistency at all with these prices and it's just not fair to the people who have spent their hard-earned money into this brand to support Pat and she comes out and does something like this. For this release, there's going to be people very happy about it and there's going to be people very unhappy about it. Obviously for me, I have spent probably thousands of dollars into this brand. So the fact that I've invested in all of the colors and palettes and I paid a premium for them, now that you can purchase it deeply discounted, that's just not fair to me. The people who are happy Happy and that this is going to benefit are the people who have never tried Pat McGrath Labs and you get a chance to try out her products for a huge fraction of the price. So for that reason, I am very excited that so much more people can have the opportunity to experience Pat McGrath because you guys know it's my favorite brand as far as eyeshadows go. But I mean, that takes away from how special owning these items were for me. What I've decided to do about this is, as you can see, I have not opened both of these packages. That is what I get for not reading the description and ordering right away. I just thought they looked super cute, didn't do my research, but obviously I have all of these colors. I don't need these. So I've decided to give these away to somebody who has never tried Pat McGrath eyeshadows. You guys know I love Pat McGrath. I want somebody to get the opportunity to try some. So here is what you have to do to enter. Now I'm just going to give one person both of these. I do this for all of my giveaways. You need to be, of course, subscribed to my channel, duh. And you need to be following my Instagram. It is at Morgan Turner Makeup. And you need to comment down below your Instagram handle. If you do not comment your Instagram handle, you're not going to win because I contact you on Instagram if you are the winner. So I will know if you're not following me too. And if I choose you as a winner and you're not following me, I can't message you. <laughs> so comment down below your Instagram handle and what it would mean to you to win these palettes. Uh, I definitely want to give this away to somebody who has not had the opportunity to try these palettes out. I know I have a lot of subscribers who have tried these palettes out and I'm right there with you. I'm upset about this, but there is a positive side to it. So I am excited to give somebody the opportunity to try out this amazing brand. That is all I have to say for today's video. I know it really wasn't like a review review, but I did want to bring forth you guys the information and just tell you my honest and true thoughts. Even if you're not entering the contest, I want you to put your thoughts down below about this because I do feel some type of way about this. I want to get a discussion going. I'm very interested in hearing what you guys have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, to my channel already. I hope you take the time to do so and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a good one.